Okay, I don't know how to do that. I'll do that with the HCI. Yeah, I can show you how to do that. Yeah. So you can practice on it today. Yeah. yeah. So um, <clears throat> um, it might take me a couple of days um, to put it up. That's okay. That's fine. And, it's all um, good. And I'll, that way I'll I, can, I, can, I can plug Janice's laptop into her computer. Into her, she's got a big large screen TV, so she can yeah. actually practice because she'll be able to see you on that screen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, awesome. So, and if you want to, of course, you can you can sort of just fast forward to the in, to the instruction part, or do the warm ups, or whatever you like. Um, it's not touch screen. Yeah. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make you bigger, comrade. All right. Full screen. There we go. It's like, all right, we'll make, we'll make a start. We'll do the salute to start with. So good afternoon and welcome. And we'll start with a few slow breaths just to calm our heart and calm our mind. So with the feet together, we'll slowly breathe in and out. And in. Out. We'll do that three times. Once more. And stepping out, feet shoulder width, knees off lock. Imagine you're sitting on a horse, arms relaxed, swinging the arms, relaxing the shoulders. No, I'll just turn it up. We've got, we've got heavy rain here. I'm just going to turn you up a little bit as well. Uh, yeah, maybe. You can come and join and do it next to me if you want. It's just started really pouring. Right. Yep. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Technical challenges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Winding down. And sideways, keeping the knees off lock. And up to the shoulder. Both very colourful today. Yeah. It's about the same. You know, this morning. And winding down. And just with that one, actually, just to be clear, we use the um, the heel of the hand to impact just below the shoulder there. So there's a um, there's a lung meridian point there. So we're yep. actually stimulating the lung meridian. Yep. And the hand at the back, we want to impact the where the um, the lower ribs are, and <coughs> so we're stimulating the kidney as well. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. And uh, we'll do the butterfly. It's feeling the rib cage expanding, lungs and heart expanding.
and turning left, center and right. Just loosening up the whole body. Back to the center, across the wrists, hands down. And we'll do some rotation, starting with the wrists. Just fishing this. Yeah, but it's kind of rolling as well. So. Keeping his elbows down. Elbows are sort of standing, so I'm just going to be working. And reverse. Um, yeah, Janice, if you um, separate your palms. Yeah. yeah, hold the palms apart. You can sort of get a more of a rolling action. More like that. Yeah, yeah that's it. Put the elbows down. Yeah. <laughs> I find one way goes better than the other. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, and elbow rotations. And reverse. Arms down. Shoulder rotations, big circle with the arm. She's got the other hand on the head. And reverse. And just feeling the top of the chest opening up, expanding the lungs. Other side. <laughs> so I have to find the roof. <laughs> Too tall for your hands. As long as I'm on a roof angle, I need to touch it. And waist rotations, knees off lock, and big circle with the waist. And reverse. Back to the center and ankle rotation. So just so I was doing all these at touch rugby warm up the other day. People started Sorry? copying me. I was doing a lot of these at touch rugby warm up the other day. Oh. I had a group of people copying me. Oh. <laughs> and ankle. And reverse. Other side. Reverse. Change sides, 
and kicking back the heel. Other side. And change sides again. And uh, now I'd like to do a couple of balancing ones. Janice, I'm not sure if these will be too hard for you or not. Um, you might okay. want to hold on to something, but yep. um, they're really good for strengthening the legs. Um, so we're just going to have balance on, on one leg and we do one leg squats. So it's holding one leg up. Just take your time, just feeling a bit of burn in the thigh muscle, just strengthening the thigh. And other side. And uh, it looks like you're frozen. Can you still see me okay? Your ghosty. You've stopped. Oh, yeah. Can you hear us? I can hear you, but um, your screen's frozen. Yeah, yours, so is yours. Oh. Hang on, um, let's try refreshing. Yeah, it might be the weather, I think. Yeah. Um, hopefully it'll come back. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. I think it's back. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, we're back now. I can see you. There we go. I just refreshed it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Excellent. We'll do one more of these balancing ones. Yep. Yep. Your understudy is pretty good, Conrad. Sorry? Your understudy is pretty good. <laughs> he is. Hello. Oh, process. He's, he's been to a, quite a few classes. He really enjoys it. Yeah, mm. good. And so getting the balance again, we're going to point the toe forward and then to the side and then to the back. And other side, take your time and get your balance on the other leg and we'll point forward, side and back. Okay, we'll have a little shake out there. So um, these, um, these warm ups, they might be a bit boring, but they're actually really important um, for, uh, for the body. So we'll do a couple of stretches now before we get into the form. So just standing with the heels, make, uh, heels together, feet making a V shape, hands just comfortably behind. And standing tall, yep. And uh, standing tall, just sort of lift the head upwards. So we're sort of extending the neck. And then we bring the chin down, gently stretching the back of the neck. And then center, chin up, stretch the front of the neck. Centre, chin down again. The 
center and up. And center, looking over the shoulder, gently stretching. Center, turn, looking towards the back of the room. Center, scanning the horizon as we turn. Center, turn. And center. Ear towards the shoulder, relax into the stretch. Don't force it, just relax. Center, other side. Yeah, don't fall asleep, Joe. <laughs> no, that's that's the, that's the um, parasympathetic sympathetics and the vagus nerves starting to kick in. Yes. Running around all day. Center, side. and center. Okay, and uh, we'll do uh, lifting the sky. So we'll make a circle in front and push the, roll the palms, push the palms up, really push up firmly, look up and hands down. Big stretch. Release. At the top, sorry, Conrad, at the top of the stretch, are your palms like this? So yes, if I'm just palms are up like that. Exactly, yeah, yeah facing. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Right. So you're trying to get your fingertips sort of facing each other. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, we can lock the arms and you bring your yeah. shoulders back so that you get a really good stretch. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Release. Yeah. And imagine you're pushing the sky up or the ceiling yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, right. towards it. Yeah. And uh, Orlando said he's he's getting cracks and pops in his bones. <laughs> really? That's a bit of a concern for a young one. Yeah. And. Um, We'll do another stretch, um, side stretch. So one hand up, one down. Then we yeah. do a big stretch. And then we change sides. Change side. And change. And once more. Hands down. And we'll do one more. So heels together again, feet making a V shape. And we'll lift the arms. And then palms running down the back of the legs. Keep the legs straight. And just feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. And keep breathing and we'll hold the stretch for a minute or less than a minute. Yeah. And bend the knees, rise up slowly. And shaking out there. Excellent. So have you all loosened up a bit? Yes, thank you. Excellent. This, this is my other grandson. It's my other grandson, Romeo. Okay, hi, Romeo. Hi. It's Romeo, and the little one is Orlando. I'm seven years old, my brother's nine. What was that, Orlando? I'm seven, my brother's nine. All oh, right, okay. Too bad it's not Romeo and Oscar. You could do some um, Romeo Oscar over and out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Awesome. Is there, is there another one named Charlie? No. <laughs> Just the two of us. Okay. All right. So, um, so let's go into the form now and uh, let's do a bit of revision first just to consolidate last week's move and then we'll do the do the new move for today so um i'll face the other way so you can follow sure. me easily yep. okay so we're starting off with just checking the feet we've yep. got a, a wide v shape arms curved and uh, standing tall and resting the wrist and the fingertips on the thighs. Yep. And return, lift up the toe, turn left, and we rock back, lift, and sink. Yep. And that's where we finished last week, isn't it? Yep. 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 And just, um, just with this one, Joe, if you could have your hands a bit more forward of the body. Yeah. yeah. The the elbows should should not go behind the sort of halfway line. Yeah, there's good. Yeah. And okay. um, Janice, if you could just um, your your hands are in a in, at a good height, but mm -hmm. if you could just twist uh, tilt your wrists a little bit so the um, hands are parallel to the floor. Yes, that's it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Like that. So there's a, a little, you'll feel a little bit of tension in the wrist, but not too much. Yep. Which is, that's good. Excellent. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. So let's do that a couple of times. Okay. So getting ready. Check the feet and the hands. And commence. And <laughs> lift and sink. And just check the hands again. A little tilted. Yeah, great. Like great. Yeah. Orlando wants to be the instructor now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's, he's an expert now. I know. <laughs> right. Most of the moves, I've done all of them. Yeah. All right, and again from the top. Yep. Ready and commence. Turn, lift, and sink. Excellent. Yeah. 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 So we've got our weight on the. Um, yeah. Off of the yeah. Right That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So we can see where we're ending up. Yeah. I might steal a camera from work so we can get a bit more of a better view. Yeah. All right. Can I um, get you to see, can I watch you do that much? Okay. Yep. Okay, so just do another thing. So here we go. Yep. So I'm going to turn. Yep. Lift. Yep. Lift the heel and come back. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the next move. Um, yeah. So just let me demonstrate for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. So from, uh, from here, the, the hands just lift up a little bit and move them forward. Um, and it's like you sort of, it's actually like you're carrying somebody's head. Okay. And we're just lifting it up and pushing it forward oh. like that. Oh, God, that's And the, um, the body moves as well, but that's, that's all the hands do. Very yep. simple. Yep. And so we're going from uh, waist height to chest height. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now I'll show you the footwork. It's a little bit complicated with the footwork. So we've gone from just watching again for a moment. We're going to make a step with the left foot. So we're 
uh, where we finished before, we've got this left heel up. So we're going to take a really small step and put the heel down and then shift the weight across, lift the back foot and tap the toe. Okay. And, uh, in fact, the ball of the foot. So you can have a little bit of weight on the foot. Um, so I'll just do that once more. So we can yeah. do this yeah. move. Yeah. Got the small yeah. step. So actually lift the foot yeah. from the toe and we're putting the heel down. Yeah. yeah. And then we shift the weight across and that empties out the back foot. And then we lift the back foot and then basically put it down again. In the same spot. So this foot should be facing the same way as the other foot because you've got one like that. Yep, yep. So, so when you've done this, you've lifted it up, you put it back down again. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, you put the toe. Yep, hang on, I've got to be curious now. Hang on, let's just check us. We'll put it on our feet, Conrad. You can have a look. Yep. Okay, so. We've gone, we're here, yep. yep. We've lifted it up, we've put that down, we've put yep. the weight on it, and then we've lifted that up and tap back down again. Same spot. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, that's... But it's supposed to be, the feet is supposed to be facing in the same direction? Uh, no, no, where you've got them is, where, yeah, the back foot has less angle on it. Where, Joe, where you've got your foot is really good. Okay. And Janice, yeah, that's good. Yeah, um, so just one thing. Function, yep. Try and make the step smaller and more comfortable. Okay. All right. Okay. So okay. we're here. We're here. Yep. We've lifted it up. We put it down. Put the foot down. Lift this one up. Tap it back down again. Yeah, oh, Janice, bring up. bring the back foot in a little bit. Um, yeah. I, I think so the maybe step, your the step is about that big. Is that right? Um, yeah. Let, let me demonstrate again. Okay. Sure. I'll just do it on a different angle. Yep. Um, so going from the the toe. So it's oh, almost yeah. coming back down on the same down spot. in the same where your toe was. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Almost. Yep. So, yep. so it sort here. of looks. Looks like I'm stepping yeah. forward, but yeah, it's it not really. There. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And it's then, quite dainty. It's a dainty step. Yes. <laughs> and then. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. There. Up. Down. So up. Tap. There. Cool. Yeah. That's it. Um, yeah. Keep the weight on the front foot. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Yeah. So we've got. Um, we got about 80% um, of the weight on the front foot, about 20 on the back foot. So it's okay. mostly on the front foot. So let's put the, the hands and the feet together. Okay. And so we're going from, from so we've got the hands in front of the, the waist. Yeah. Yeah. And Joe, a little bit forward with the hand. Oh, yeah, yeah good. Yeah. And so we make the step. And as you're shifting the weight, you're lifting the hands up to chest height and tap the back foot. Got it. Got it. Excellent. Got it. Actually, it's less complicated than I thought it was. It's actually <laughs> quite easy. Um, so let's practice that a few times and we'll put it all together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So back to the, back to the yep. here and Step, lifting, and tap. And again, step, shift, and tap. Yeah. And once more, and step, shift, and tap. Excellent. Can I just look at your hands for a moment? Sure. Can you do that again? Yep. So you've got top. Yep. 
we're going to put our hands in the right position. So lift the foot up, heel down, move forward, tap. Yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, Janice, with your hands, they're sort of rotating a little bit. We want the palms facing each other. Yes. A little bit more. Yeah, that's better. And my elbows are bent. Is that right? Yeah, elbows definitely bent. And maybe sink the elbow a little bit. Yeah, that's that's good. And I think, yeah, with if you lift your elbows, that tends to rotate the palms, you see. That's yeah. what's happening. So keep those elbows sinking down. This might, this might be helpful. What, what you're actually doing is you're actually just moving forward with your arms. Yeah. So exactly. not like that. You're just, you're just, yeah. you're just like you're passing me a gift. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. And um, actually, oh, some cool. something else um, that might help is actually if you imagine you are holding on to something, so that actually it keeps a little bit more firmness yeah. Yeah. in the hands. So the hands should be relaxed, but not soft and floppy um, so it's um, it's sort of um, sort of rigid but not stiff mm -hmm. and it's technically firm but soft if that makes sense okay. yeah it does I get what you got it, it's sort of like we are holding on to something and that helps to keep the hands in the right yeah. position. So it's a, it's a little little bit rigid. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do some physio speak here. We get isometric yeah. contraction of the lower forearm and the hands. Yeah. Got it? Got okay, it. we got it. Too easy. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a, there's a technical term for that, is there? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Um, and te technically speaking, what we're doing is actually we're we're opening all the joints in the in the fingers and in the wrist and yeah. it's so it's sort of like we're actually stretching from the inside yeah mm -hmm. yeah which is probably exactly what you you said before joe <laughs> um, <laughs> so excellent and that that feeling we maintain all the time mm. so we don't actually ever go like really soft and limp it's, there's a little bit of uh, tension in there, but without being without being um, stiff. So um, excellent. Let's let's have a go at putting all of that together, shall we? From the okay. top. So getting ready, Just checking the feet and the hands and the shoulders. So we're standing nice and upright to start with. And commence. Return and lift and sink. And step, small step, lifting the hands, shift and tap with the back foot. Excellent. And and again, ready, commence. Turn, lift, and sink. Step, and tap. Excellent. And actually, I'm sorry, um, Janice, I'd just like to make another adjustment with your wrists. Sure. Um, it you looks, like them. We want we want the palms sort of really parallel. It's sort of like you have to bring the wrists in slightly. The wrists looks like your sort of wrists are going out. More like that, more straight. Uh, that's good, Joe. You're really good at this. Um, this is really helpful. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's really weird. I went for a walk with someone the other day 
And I started clearing stuff. Like I was doing sighted guiding and he's like, what are you doing? Oh, no, don't worry, I'm just clearing the path. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kind of automatic. Yeah, yeah. good, good. Yeah. All right, we'll do that so a few more times. Denise, Denise is a very good participant. As her yes. self lady says, if you just ask Denise or show Denise what to do, she just does it. Yeah. So it, it helps when you've got a great participant. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Awesome. All right. So getting ready from the top again. And commence. Turn. Lift. And sink. Step. And tap. And actually, I did just notice then that my that, that uh, my wrists do adjust a little bit as my hands go up and down, I'm adjusting the angle of my wrists so that they're sort of parallel with the, with the floor. So we're not sort of pointing up or down or anything. Yeah, that's it, beautiful. <laughs> Yep. Hang on, synchronize. You ready? Shingle. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I can see us standing in a line just practicing our Tai Chi. Anyone's going to try to do it? Yeah. Awesome. And again, from the top, ready and commence. And once more, ready and commence. So your arms, your arms are not traveling that far either, really. They're only going from kind of from side on. They're only sort of going from here. To there really exactly it looks like they're moving more yeah. because yeah. The, because the body's moving forward at the same time yeah. it gives the yeah. uh, it's an yeah. optical illusion it that makes it look movement. like a big movement but yeah. it's because the yeah the body moves as well so good uh, good catch there that that's a lot of the movements are like that where they they look like they're bigger movements than they actually are um, so, excellent. Um, so um, we um, we might actually we might just practice that a couple more times. Sure. So again, ready and commence. And once more, and commence. This gets quite slow. So I've got to ask you, yep. what's the point? So you've, you've lifted the foot up. Why are you tapping the foot? Is that to build up energy for the next one, next movement? Um. It's actually comes from the martial art side of it. So these movements are actually all martial art applications. Yep. And um, like this, um, just change the angle. Like this actually here when we, um, when, when we do this movement, we're actually grabbing somebody's head and that yeah. little step we make is actually yeah. where we're bringing somebody's head into our knee. Yep, okay, oh. yep. And um, when we step forward, yeah, that's just allowing the, um, the body weight to come forward so that we've got somewhere to go back to. But I don't, I get that. And I understand, I understand with martial arts that you, you're bringing, it's kind of like you come in and then you have this ex explosion of energy. 
I get that yeah. bit, but I don't understand what the tap is at the end. So I can get I can get that we've come back, we've come back, we're here, um, and then we've lifted this foot up, but I don't really understand. Is this to gather more energy to do the next movement? Um gee, that you know it's a good question. I'm not sure if I can explain that one. Okay, um, sorry, I'm just curious. No, no, that's okay. Um so um uh i might have to think about that and get it's back okay, to i'm just i'm just curious I, I understand the mechanics of martial arts in terms of you bring the energy in and then yep. you explode and you yeah yep. you disseminate and that's yep. the contact point yeah so yeah. i understand but i just uh, it kind of maybe is it's just a, a thing that you're getting you're kind of building up energy for the next i don't know yeah yeah it's it's um it's really, I, I think it's more to do with just placing the foot in the right place for the next movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. that makes um, sense. So in a lot of the older forms, the back foot would remain in the, the, the back foot would remain steady. So um, like you've got this sort of movement here. Yeah. And you, would, you would rock back yeah. and then step forward again. There's a lot of this sort of stepping where you keep the back foot flat and you um, you would use that as a leverage point. So you're sort of pushing from the back foot. Mm -hmm. That gives you the force to, to move forward. But in yep. this style, the steps are usually like this. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it allows for more flexibility and more turning. Yeah, yeah. it probably allows faster movements, I would say. Yeah. yeah. The mechanics of it. Yes, exactly. It, it does yeah. it sort of freeze up, the, like the, the, the body is, instead of being so stuck to the ground, you actually can sort of move around more. Yeah. 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 So it's a very good question. Thank you. Sorry, I can't help. I can't. Human bio, for both of us, human biomechanics is our thing. So uh, yeah, my brain's just absorbing it and trying to work it all out. Sorry, Denise. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, look, I might have to do a bit of research on that one. But uh, this is a, a typical step in this style okay. and a few, a few of the other styles as well. They use this particular type of stepping where, where always that back foot would come in yeah. and then you, you would change direction or whatever. Um, so, um, yeah, good. All right. So can I get you to practice that on your own a couple of times okay. first? Yep. So you've got the starting stance, yeah. So yep. And then, yep. And so, lift the foot, come back. Yep. Lift the leg. Front heel. Go forward. Side touch. Yep. Okay? Good, good. Yep. So then. And again. So, right foot in. Yep. Lift the arms. Lift the heel. And then, lift the foot. Down the floor, here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Janice, looks like your hands are a little bit too soft. <laughs> okay. okay. And if, yeah, if you can have that little bit of rigidness, it actually will help your balance as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to turn the foot. Yeah. Lift the arms. Yeah. Lift the heel, come back down. Lift the leg. Here, up. Excellent. Yeah, watch those hands, Janice. They're rotating. Yeah, right again. And um, just uh, just before you you do that again, I'd just like to um, mention something here. Um, now, when we sink down, yeah. you don't have to sink far. Just keep oh, it comfortable. Okay. Um, this uh, it's. Uh, 
a more upright sort of form this one like a lot of the tai chi forms they really but they have quite a lot of bend in the legs but this one we only bend a little bit okay so and um but also once we sink down don't bob up and down oh so we actually yeah. we actually try and keep level once we've sunk down let me try and demonstrate that for you um so we need to be aware of our height okay and I'll, I'll do it on this angle here okay so here so i haven't sunk down very far it's only a little yeah. bit yeah. but then I, I stay the same height yeah okay okay yeah when you lift you don't sort of rise up try yeah. and keep your eyes at the same <laughs> are you trying to tell us there's no prancing that's right. It's not a prancing style, I'm just trying to tell us subtly. Excellent. So I'll get you to give that a couple of guys, just try and uh, get that right, happening. Go. There's not very much room. Okay, so right foot in. Uh, Janice, you lift, I think you might be lifting the hands. The timing's not quite right there somehow. It's really um, slow, the foot thing. So let's just, so foot. Yep. Arms. That's better. Yeah. 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 Step. Yeah. Toe. Lift. Tap. That's great. Yes. So at the end, uh, it should still be just a little bit of bend in that front knee. Yeah. That's still in the front. So the right foot turn. Yeah. Lift the arms. Lift the heel, come back. Yeah, okay. Lift the heel, toe, arms, oh, that's, that's, right? Yeah, that's looking good. And uh, but I'm noticing, Janice, yeah, you're wanting to rush that first bit. You're wanting yes. to rush lifting your hands. Take yes. your time, and that yes. the foot and the body turn first. Right, and yeah. then lift. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so, one more time. So, right foot turn. Yep. Oh, hang on. So, let me get my hands right first. So, right foot turn. Yep. Lift the hands. Yep. Lift the heel. Come back a little bit. Just a little bend. Yep. Lift the foot. Heel. Yep. So, thumbs up. Okay. I've gone a bit slower, Conrad. Sorry. That's all right. It's, it's We're getting going complex. Slow, and then we'll speed yeah. it up a bit. Yeah. yeah, well, part part of the reason why we do it slow is so that we can get all the little details in there. So there's no need to rush. And Janice, touch your thighs to start with. Actually, fingers, fingertips connected to start with. Yeah, good. So turn the foot, okay, yeah, lift the arms, lift the heel, a little bit of bend, yep, yeah. knee up, knee down, cancel the weight forward, arms come forward, back foot up, tap. Oh, that's fantastic, yep. Yeah. All right, um, maybe, yeah, we'll just practice that together a couple more times just to consolidate that. Yep. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, remember connect the, the hands with the sides first. So ready and commence. Really slow. Lift and sink. Step and lift. All right, one more time. Thing is too that movement, that movement that he's doing from when you're here, yeah. it's actually a tiny, it's a tiny mm -hmm. movement mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. yeah, because he's moving forward at the same time. So yeah. it's literally it's literally only about a foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then as you move forward it looks forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's more body, I think it's more so so as you've got from here mm -hmm. and you and you so you know, I've got to think about this now. So, now, now my brain, now I'm thinking about, I'm over thinking, let's just follow Conrad. It's a tiny <laughs> movement because 
when you move forward, when you move forward, it looks bigger. That's it, Janice. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, good. Last time. And commence. Excellent. That's terrific. Um, so, uh, so we might start winding down now. We'll do the lotus exercise just to do a little bit of stretching to finish with. So uh, standing with the feet at a comfortable shoulder width and palms curved, we'll raise the arms through the clouds to start. The turtle treads water. Cross the wrists, keep the wrists together, turn the palms out, keep the wrists together, keep the wrists together, and separate. Scooping water, spreading it far, and form hollow fists and pull down the lotus flowers, palms up, lift, and we twist, a little sideways twist on each side. Other side. The center, palms up, lift and palms down, press, and he'll stretch the back of the legs a little bit and bend the knees and we make a scoop and diagonal stretch. Big stretch, one on each side. Other side. And cross the wrists again. Keep the wrists together, roll, roll them around and separate. Roll the palms to face the back, raise the arms to finish. And feet together, closing form. Do that three times. And keeping the legs straight this time, press down. Excellent. Um, so uh, we'll finish there. So thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for joining in and um, well done, everyone. Thank you. And just uh, if you can, just keep in mind, just keeping that hands that's a little bit rigid yeah, yeah. and um, maybe sort of practice that in between your Tai Chi so you can sort of get used to it um, yeah. but it is a very good practice actually um, sprinters use this technique they have the fingers straight but they actually tense their hands up and it has the effect of um, joining all the meridians together so when the hand is relaxed, the muscle groups are separated. You, you probably actually know about this already. But when you just stretch a little bit, a little bit of tension, it joins the muscle groups together and they become more efficient and more effective. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, uh, it really actually gives you a lot more strength and it's strength that gives us balance. So mm -hmm. it's a very useful technique um, for, uh, for just even for walking around, let alone running or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. We call it kinetic muscle chains. Oh, okay. I'll show them because there's a lot of kinetic. So if you, if you create tension, then you create a muscle chain so all, right through, yeah, all the way exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So when you're stretching, that's what you want to do. You want to create that muscle chain. 
Yeah, yeah, excellent. Um, terrific. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up now. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, joining in. It was, was really enjoyable to, to have, um, you know, to have, have, so, have you both been so keen. It's really great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, can, right. we can totally see the benefit in it, so. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll um I'll be I'll be SP you that money. So and yeah. I'll send you a um you got Conrad's email. Yeah, please email. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send you a little thing saying it's gone through. Okay. Fantastic. Right. All right. Wonderful. So great to see you. I'll look forward to next week. Thank you. Very right. much. I'm going to tell them at work. I'm leaving at five forty-five. I have a problem with my work colleagues. I'm leaving at this time. So say, if I say 15 minutes earlier, then I'll get to leave at, at the right time. Yeah. Right. Okay, thanks, Conrad. Okay. Have a All good right. week. Take care. You too. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye.